about 24 hours prior to my surgery and um, a medical professional came in and she was taking blood pressure and brought up the fact that I was having the surgery and said to me, how am I going to feel when all of the other pretty girls can wear beautiful bikinis and I can't because I'll have a stay in my bag. And I laughed and said, I'll do whatever I please because it's not going to change me. I'm Chloe Wilson and we're at Paul Addicts Dance and Fitness Academy. I was battling with symptoms of ulcerative colitis for around 10 years prior to diagnosis. Um, a mix of emotions when it got told that I'd be having my colostomy bag because it was relief of that there was an answer to everything that had happened, um, but fear of what was to come afterwards. So since surgery, obviously, my colostomy bag is just a part of me. I can go out, I can do all the activities I could before and more because I've got more energy, I'm in no pain with it. Um, I don't constantly feel poorly, I'm not constantly worried about what's going to happen and how I could turn and whatnot. I just get up, get on with my day, make sure I'm set to go, I've always got a spare and I can go and do whatever I please, it's not held me back, I've not found anything I can't really do yet. So I've um, been doing pole fitness for around four or five years on and off, including prior to surgery obviously, um, I could never commit to it fully because I was too poorly, even before diagnosed I was too weak. Um, after surgery I gave it the three month mark, obviously for the recovery and then I came back and gradually worked my way back and now I'm going three to five times a week. I think because I've always been into my activity and all my fitness and be it gym or dance or whatnot, I think that definitely helped in my recovery period because my body was already quite strong despite the fact I had a disease. There's a couple of moves where I do have to consider the bag, so kind of like stomach grips. Um, I sometimes have to alter that and maybe struggle sometimes but I generally I've not found anything that I can't outright do I've never hurt myself doing it I'm stronger now than I was before I had my colostomy bag I can achieve so much more I'm working at a higher level than what I was prior to surgery everything's just better no one points it out or considers it as a factor it's just I'm Chloe and I'm back and we're going to have another session. Everyone who comes to Pole Addicts is so welcoming, so kind, so lovely and it's not even, nobody even thinks twice about it. It's just, you get in and you're back with your second family I suppose. The most challenging thing is probably battling the mental as aspect of it. So where you think, is somebody going to judge me? Is somebody going to say something? Is somebody going to point it out? Are people looking at you? Once you get past that in your own brain you start to realise that people don't really care that much and it's a lot of people don't really know what it is so if anything does look it's kind of more the wondering I wonder what that could be and generally once you've explained it people understand get on with it and I said people aren't as judgmental as you expect but that's what you log in your brain that people will think that's not normal that's not right that's not how someone should look much my attitude towards it is if someone's got a problem that's their problem not mine I don't need that person in my life I will wear what I want, when I want, do whatever I please, go wherever I please, and I'm happy with it. I wear my bag with pride because it saved my life.